Hey guys, we're back for week 13 of the Bomber Budget Build. This week we're going to continue with some of the maintenance and a couple more upgrades. The truck's been used pretty good, starting to get a little bit of noise here and there from what I'm suspecting is bad bearings, bearings that need maintenance or things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entire car swapping out all of the bearings. I picked up a Fast Eddie bearings kit for this car. I'm gonna go through and replace everything in the car, taking the opportunity to re-grease all of the moving parts, anything that needs attention, and just check over the whole car in general. Have Axial Fest coming up in a couple of weeks, and it seems like the perfect time to go through this type of maintenance. Also, while I'm in there, I'm also going to replace the gears with HD gears. Now, up to this point, we've been in the axle before to replace the locker spool with the incision spool, but we did not replace the gears. I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. Now. Gearing. Gearing is always one of those things that there's a lot of options and personal preferences about. Now, I use the bomber mainly to trail in a way. You know, I, I do like to go hike with it. I like to do big ledge climbs. I like to go fast with it, all those type of things. I do U4 race it a little bit, but that's not like my main, main use for this car. So I'm going to try something on this car that I've used in other cars in the past, but I've never tried it in a car that I use in this manner as far as speed goes, especially. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the HD gear set in the front, the stock ratio. The stock ratio on this car is a 38 tooth ring gear and a 13 tooth pinion gear. Then I'm going to use the underdrive gear set in the rear. Now that is a 43 tooth ring gear and a 13 tooth pinion gear. So what that's going to do is it's going to slow down the rear end a little bit. Now what that should do is help the car track a little bit easier. It should keep that rear end following just with a little bit of drag. We'll see exactly how that plays out in the end if I like that setup uh, or if I want to go back to just a standard ratio HD in the rear. But for now, this is what I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I do like to do big ledge climbs and this may help from the truck wanting to always flip over backwards when hitting something with a lot of power. So that's my goal. That's the idea for what I'm going with right now. Uh, I'll be using the Axial brand HD gears in this car um, and we're going to get into that installation as well as the rest of the bearings. I'm not going to go through every single step of disassembling and reassembling. We've gone through a lot of those already. Uh, there shouldn't be a need to show you every step of replacing bearings in the car. Um, we've done the axles before when we did the knuckles, C, uh, ring gear. We have not got inside of the transmission and transfer case. That's really about it. Um, so we'll kind of keep it to some of the things that we haven't covered as of yet. Other than that, we're going to get into this thing. A lot of work to be done to tear the entire car down in order to do all this maintenance. So i uh, going to try and keep the video as brief as we can as far as doing that. I don't want one other bit of maintenance that we're going to do today as well is I'm going to replace some of the plastic Revo rod ends with some new plastic Revo rod ends. The reason that I'm doing this is that with a lot of power and a lot of force, when you really beat on a car like this, you'll notice that your rod ends can start to snap off of the balls and kind of hang out uh, off to the center, kind of wedged in between the mount or the skid plate or whatever, and where it should be on that. So once it happens once, it's gonna happen easier and easier every time. So every once in a while, it's a good idea just to go ahead and replace those rod ends, especially in the places where you've noticed that happening. Where this truck seems to have that happen the most is on the lower links at the skid plate and the axle side, constantly popping those back into place uh, after just giving this truck a good running. So uh, those are the two spots that are going to be of main concern as far as rod ends go. Other than that, we'll look over everything as it goes, make sure everything feels nice and tight, secure, and see if there's any other trouble areas that we need to address. For this teardown, I started by removing the drivetrain from the chassis and then separating the front and rear axles from the transmission and skid plate assembly. The great thing about the bomber is that removing this entire assembly and separating it from its pieces takes only a few minutes. It's really one of the easiest axial cars there is to work on. Remove the three screws in the transfer case and pull the two halves apart. One downfall to the ready to runs is that these transmissions really do not come with enough lubrication in them. These gears are nearly dry, just a little bit of grease sitting in there, but really the gears don't look lubricated well at all. I'm removing the bearings from the transfer case half with one of my hex drivers, just 
moving it around until it pops free. Once the bearings are all removed, you can then remove the second half of the transmission case and pull those two halves apart. Again, in this transmission case, we can see that there's very little to almost no lubrication on those gears. Once the slipper assembly is removed, we can remove the top shaft of that transmission, allowing us access to that front bearing on it. Once the other shaft is removed, you can then remove that bearing attached to that shaft as well. Two more bearings in the back half of that transmission case, and that will be all of the bearings inside of this transmission. I'm using an RR10 bomber bearing kit from Fast Eddie's Bearings to allow me to replace every bearing in this car in one package. Reinstallation of the bearings is just the exact opposite process we just went through. Replacing the bearings on that top shaft and bottom shaft in the main transmission housing. At this time we are going to make sure that we definitely properly lubricate the gears inside of this transmission so that they don't see excessive wear over time as they would have if we didn't get inside here and properly lubricate them. The same goes for all three gears in this transfer case. They're all going to get a generous coating of bearing grease. As mentioned earlier, I'm running the underdrive gear set in the rear axle in the standard stock ratio in the front axle, also in the HD gear. A good indicator of wear on your gears is looking at the teeth closely on that pinion and ring gear and seeing exactly how sharp those gears begin to get. At this point, we're ready to wrap up this truck and button everything back up. We've got all the bearings in the entire car changed out now. Just a good thing to do every once in a while. I like to do them before one actually fails because when bearings fail, that's usually when they take out another part and things get more expensive. So a little bit of preventative maintenance is always good to do. We also changed out the ring and pinion gear in the front and rear axles and it was a good time to do that because they were both looking quite sharp on the teeth, which means that there wasn't a whole lot of life left on those before they finally gave up for good. At this point, as far as maintenance goes, we should be pretty close to wrapped up now. We can get back to regular style upgrades and we're going to get into that. As you can see, we're still sitting here without any wheels and tires, so in the upcoming weeks, that's definitely going to be the topic of discussion. We're going to have to go at that a little by little to make sure that we get exactly what this truck needs, but fit it into our budget style format. So we'll work with that. We'll show you guys how I'm going to get that done. And that is going to be what you guys are going to see coming up next. But with that, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.